I am going to teach you how to make Ghana fried rice. This fried rice is gonna have you gas. This fried is gonna have you licking fingers. <laughs> One more to use are these ingredients. I will show you a closer view, okay? So don't you worry, and I'll show you every little step as we go. Okay, so I'm about to start with the chicken because chicken takes some time. I can't say, you my bitch has chicken, I see more whole chicken, you know, my season, I'm gonna fry, you know, it's Yeah. Let's do the chicken. Look at that, nicely washed. You know what you We're about to cut the onions. <laughs> I'm joking. It's just the onions. Don't worry. <laughs> I just blend my onions. I added a little bit of ginger and garlic. No, actually no, just ginger. Splash that in. And I'm about to put a lot of seasoning in. Usually with seasoning, you just have to dip, dip, dip until you hear somebody tell you. My child, that's okay. That's the end of it. And that's when you stop. Listen, rice muchichi, rice muchichi. And I'm very young one and they're literally like, you guys are gonna love this rice when I'm telling you, yeah, yeah, this recipe. In fact, I should be charging you guys. I can't just be dropping recipes like this. I will change your life for free. Nice. While the chicken is in here, seasoning, guys, I added a little bit of bay leaves. Oh, oh, child. Added a little bit of bay leaves, okay? Now I'm about to put some oil in here and start doing the chichians, start doing the fryings. I did cut some veg and I've got some frozen veg that I'm gonna add on, but we also got pronsy pronsy. Let's put in the oil. I'm using olive oil, 100% olive oil, perfect. Use whatever oil you've got. No problem, no nothing. They're not really what? Whilst this is chichuin, we're boiling the rice, okay? Listen, I have to make sure that this comes out nice, yeah? Because my in-laws are watching. They want to know if I can cook for their son and brother, do you know what I mean? So I literally want to make sure that everything is I'm using mixed vegetables from Aldi. It's actually quite nice, this. This is literally the only time that I go wild with veg. Like, I usually don't put veg in my food, which is bad. But I am trying, right? This is what it's looking like at the moment. It's gonna start simmering properly. I don't know about you guys, but I always actually season my um, veg as well. So I'll season the veg, season the egg and prawns, and then I'll add um, seasoning when all of it comes together as well. And then usually I would fry my chicken, but we're trying to be healthy. As you can see, I went to the gym yesterday. I'm not trying to lose my, my gains in a day. So I'm about to do the oven thing. Let's see it. Ah! <laughs> right? I like to put like three or four or five layer in before I, I know, I know some people are gonna say it's a waste of foil. It's not a waste of foil if it saves you from having to scrub so hard. I know I like washing dishes, but what's the point of working hard? You gotta work smarter. I'm gonna add my prawns. They're already cooked, so they don't need to be cooking for so long. I literally just add it in. This is what we're working with at the moment. And just stir everything in. And then the final thing I'm gonna add in would be the eggs, so stay tuned. Guys, so this is the chicken. The chicken's about to go in the oven. Six eggs. I said Ghanaian. I'm sure you understand why it's six. So yeah, my eggs are cooking, my rice is cooking, I've got my veggie ready, chicken's in the oven. Like the video, let me know that you like it so that I can do more for you. What's here? 
Yeah, I'm not any I'm sorry. I don't want to see a of your empire girl. Don't do that, man. You don't do them things, man. What is wrong with me? <laughs> now, nah, I feel like you guys are going to realize how much of a crazy person I am. This is me. I remember when the uni days, yeah, I used to get bare comment. Like, people used to say that I'm stush. I was like, bro, I'm not stush, you know. I'm not even quiet. It's just, if I don't know you, I'm a little bit shy. And that shyness is gone in 2.5 seconds. As soon as you start talking to me or as soon as we start a convo and I realize that you're vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I usually don't have any music in the background because I don't want to get um, copyrighted, but let me play you one of my favorite songs, yeah? Sakuaba, Sakuaba Ewule. And Piamo Uncle. Samoa. Ajena Biribiamo. Oh, Biribiamo. Mm. I have one final thing that I started doing recently with my fried rice and I think it's banging it's mm. it takes you to the next freaking level corned beef corned beef if you're allergic if you don't like it move in it but boo potatoes tomatoes but slap that in there mix it all up and listen come come in the comments and let me know how that makes you like how that makes you feel it will take you right to it will take you to places do you understand the chicken is done i'll show you guys what it looks like boo brought me some plantain i'll dish it out when i've put everything together and yeah we're gonna enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed this little garland chit chat whatever this was this was i don't even know what i'm gonna title it Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying it. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>